This is going to be her final patrol. Oh god, there it is. Yeah, x too far, we've got it. It's at the bottom of Powerstock Road in the side alley. Can we get fire on it, please? Go over here. Oh! x 25 the fuel tank has just blown. Oh! Oh! Got a vehicle making off. Stand by. It's going to be a crash crash at the top of uh, Calais Street. Get out of that car. Right, how's it bring you back? Oh, someone th get him! I'm angry. I'm angry. We've lost him. Hey guys, it's your boy Dodo McGee and welcome back to another video of LSPDFR, the mod for GTA 5 where we get to play as a police officer. We are back wearing our normal black, blue uniforms and uh, today we have got a uh, special send off. So just behind me here, along with our good pal Reggie of course, we have got our 65 plate Ford Focus. So these things have been on the local policing team fleet list for um, about 10 years, near enough 10 years now. And uh, today, this is going to be her final patrol. That's right, this absolute weapon of a uh, vehicle is uh, having her final patrol today. She's being replaced uh, by a, uh, a new addition to the fleet, which means we have to say a, uh, a sad farewell to these things. Absolute go-karts, of course. Most of the trims held on with duct tape at this point. Uh, the clutch sticks and uh, all that good stuff, but, yeah, but you know, she works hard. So today, we're going to give her a little bit of a send-off. We'll see if we can maybe send her off in style. But, you know, who knows what the day's got for us. So, without further ado, let's get out there and let's hit the road. So, we are, of course, down here in the city with the local policing team. So, we're just going to be going to all of those standard 999 calls, seeing what the day has got for us. Maybe doing some traffic stops here and there, depending on what is going on. But uh, when you're playing as LPT, literally anything can happen. So, we'll let the control know that we are starting this very special final patrol. X-Ray Victor 2-5, show me state 2. Copy that. Wonderful stuff. And right, let's see what the day has got for us. Let's go. That's an old thing. Hey. New incident received. We've got a car on fire. Respond code 3. Yeah, we can go in. Um, we can go to a vehicle fire. X-Ray Victor 2-5, show me state 5. New oh. We're 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 getting the phone call. Okay. Hello. How can I help you? Listen, I don't have much time, but there's something I need to tell you. Why am I getting this phone call? I'm sorry. Who are you? Yeah, this is a very good point. Hang on, let me uh, just come over here and throw on the hazards for a second. Who are you? Don't ask questions. The vehicle is going to be torched right now. I need you to go there now. Where and why are you telling me this? I've sent through the location to your mobile. Someone I know made a mistake. They're trying to get revenge on the wrong person. Uh, right. Who's that they that you keep referring to? And why are they setting someone's vehicle on fire? Mistakes. They've made mistakes. Let's slow down. I'm going to need some context. Yeah. Why am I getting this phone call? I've said too much. Shit. Oh, they've ended the call. We've uh, routed your GPS to location. Head there. I mean, okay. Well, that's um, a zero one. A stolen vehicle has been spotted on fire. Attend the scene. Okay. Why and how has a random member of the public got my phone number? But, alright, whatever. Let's just uh, get over there, I guess, and see what is going on exactly. That's a little bit of curbage, but... So, Strawberry's not too far away, and so it's just a short blast through the city centre here. If this DPD van is going to move for me, of course they're not. Right, let's just go around them then. Okay, so it's just coming up here. x 25 we're going to be stage 6 very shortly. Okie dokie, let's see. I can see a little bit of haziness. Maybe. Oh god, there it is. Yeah, x 25 we've got it. It's at the bottom of Powerstock Road in a side alley, just next to the um, uh, mechanic sensor. Can I get fire on route, please? Right, let's uh, set up a little bit of a road closure here. We'll go over here. Oh! x 25 the fuel tank has just blown. Can I uh, step up that fire response, please? Copy. Alrighty, okay. Let's uh, get out here. Body cam on. Am I getting... Am I getting fire or what? Fire truck. Assistance required in... Strawberry. Why are they not coming? Well, it's pretty much going out now, so... 
Oh, dear me. Okay. All right. Let's just uh, be cautious as we uh, look around here. Xmax 25, the fire is mostly out, so you might as well um, stand down that fire truck that uh, never came. Uh, I will get a fire scene investigator, though, if you can get me one. Copy that. Hmm, I thought I had an option for a uh, fire scene investigator. I guess I don't. All right, uh... Oh, well, a collision investigation unit will do, I guess. Um, all righty, let's take a little bit of a look here. Gotta be careful. This thing's still gonna be very hot. There's no one in it, which is good. Uh, I don't see anything too sus around here. Uh, let's see. We've got a bit of a plate here. I reckon that's going to be Lima Yankee 72 uh, Tango Whiskey Romeo, I think. X Ray Victor 25. Can I get a vehicle check? Oh, oh Lima X Ray. Okay, 70. I was close though. So it's a black baller. Target vehicle license plate. It is Lincoln lost stolen. Okay. Tom, William, Robert, a traffic, a possible stolen vehicle. Yeah, no Attach kidding. With caution. Yeah, I mean, all right, okay. All right, eh? our um, our crash investigators have come here. They're not quite the people I want. I'd say I thought I had a backup option for um a uh, a fire scene investigator, but I guess not. Right. Uh, hopefully this thing has cooled down uh, enough by now. We're still going to be very careful here. Let's just see what we can find in the vehicle. Uh, any evidence of an accelerant or anything like that? Maybe a lighter? Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so we have an AK-47 rifle, uh, a Binko voucher, several loaded 9mm magazines, a professional DSLR camera, a drone, a football, uh, matches, that's interesting, uh, three damaged security cameras, and a stick of chewing gum. Hot damn! Alrighty, well that's a whole list of things that I was not expecting. Extra Victor 25, there are a multitude of uh, things in this vehicle which are slightly suspicious. The, the primary one being a uh, AK-47 as well as some uh, 9mm magazines. Can I get ARV down here please? Uh, there are some matches in the vehicle as well as some other slightly suspicious items like damaged security cameras etc. Uh, we will be seizing those but I'll just need an ARV to secure the weapons please. Alrighty, whilst they're on the way, let's take a look at the vehicle and see what we know about it. Uh, so the road taxes has expired, we're not too worried about that. It was reported lost or stolen. The registered owner is a Hazel Garcia. Uh, Hazel Garcia is also a wanted person uh, for riot, of all things. So I wonder if that was um, from a couple of months back. Uh, let's see, you've got quite the criminal history as well. Threatening an offensive weapon in a private place. Um, a something else in 2022, a use of firearm or imitation firearm to resist arrest, a possession of a bladed article uh, in a public place, and failing to stop at a road incident. Uh, that was only last month as well, so quite the history there. Quite the history indeed. Um, okay, alrighty. Well, in which case we're not going to be able to contact um, Mr. Garcia uh, in relation to his uh, vehicle because I doubt he's going to pick up the phone to us. I wonder if it's in relation to... Uh, so, what was the story at the start? Someone has made a mistake and they're going to go and torch the wrong vehicle. Mr. Garcia definitely seems like the sort of person that would be mixed up in such things. So, um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'll keep this asshole busy for you. Hi, team. How are we doing? Uh, let's see. If we can just walk over to your vehicle. Oh, look at this for a lineup. Oh, damn. So, we've got our, um, our lovely box over here which is being uh, sent off still a pretty good nick for the age of the vehicle actually uh at least aesthetically got the forensic collision unit the um traffic collision unit uh and then we've got an arv now i'm hoping i'm not too far away uh from the scene here let's see can i do a weapon serial check here hopefully i'm not too far away an ak-47 rifle here we go can form a weapon check because the number is scratched i'm not too surprised okay well, there we go. That's nice and secured in their vehicle. Right, you guys can all go, actually. Thank you very much. I can await uh, recovery here. Uh, Reggie and I can do that. That's no problem at all. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of you coming out for the assist. Now, let's just see here. Um, we haven't got any CCTV around here. We've got a couple of people that I assume are working from here. Hi, guys. How are we doing? Sorry to interrupt your... Um, cigarette break i'll just start with yourself here um we're just here investigating a fire that happened around the corner possibly an arson of a vehicle that has been set on fire i don't suppose uh you guys have uh seen anything around here at all have you seen or heard anything suspicious around lately 
No? Okay, alrighty then, no problem at all. Thank you very much, you can go back to what you're doing. Alrighty, okie dokie. And yourself, sir, what about you? Let's see, ask question. Palms of sweaty drug intoxication, alright. Well, that is just a normal cigarette he's dropped there, so I'm not too worried about it. Anyway, uh, right, and uh, you, yourself, sir, uh, have uh, you seen or heard anything suspicious around here recently? Didn't see shit? I mean, I mean alright, you don't need to, I'm just trying to do my job, alright, okay? Um, alrighty, uh, no problem, alright, uh, can you tell me what happened? Have you even heard that? The person you want is right over there? What, the dude I just let go? Really? Do you, do you know the person that set the fire? He's not telling me anything. Okay. Oh, well, well, okay. Do you mind if I um, get a name for you? Do you mind, mind telling me your name? No? Okay. I mean, all right. Okay. Well, thank you very much, I guess. Um, sorry for disrupting your cigarette break. Um, appreciate you, but Any thanks. More crap. You're wearing no, did, why, why are you going to be saying that? The person we want is right over there. Well, I don't know where that other dude went. So, I don't really think he means him anyway, because they're literally having a having a smoke together. But anyways, uh, I guess we will possibly never know. But anyway, well, let's get this thing uh, recovered. We will do that. Uh, a forensic recovery, actually, to try and get a better understanding of what's happened here. X-ray, Victor 25, requesting recovery. Go get a large flatbed out here for this thing. Required and strawberry. And that should be about that. We can get these gloves off now. Let's uh let's await our truck. Oh, there they are. They're coming. Hi, hi, over here. Hi, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Alrighty, and there she goes. Happy days. We can turn our uh, cameras off now, Reggie. Okay, okay. X-Rex 25, the vehicle has been recovered. Uh, we are going to be resuming. Roger. Alrighty, let's get back into the car then and uh, see what else today's got for us. Let's go. Oh. Well, okay, that's something we can... um. Get a little bit of a involved in. I don't really know what quite happened there, but I think the baller just kind of turned in on the mini. Let's um let's just take a little looky see here. We're now stopped at the red light. The mini has continued, which is a little bit annoying. Neither party have stopped here. So it was uh this ball in front of me. Yeah, from what I could see, um I think the baller came across uh, changing lanes. I think the mini. Oh, you know what? I I can't remember. Well, well let's um, get the vehicle pull over. They're darting all over the place here. Let's just um, take a little looky see. Oh, what is everyone doing? Union, Move. We have a a race in, car speeding. Uh, Chamberlain Hill. Uh, well, I guess that's going to take more priority. Let me just um, ping this number plate. Hotel Juliet 05, Papa Roger. Delta November. Um, let me just quickly run this through. Target vehicle license plate. Henry John Attention 05. Unit. We have Davis an Noah in a traffic Lamesa. violation. Approach with caution. Okay, so it's got expired registration and expired license. You know what, let's just give it a quick blip here. Um, and pull him over. Okay. Exactly, too far. We've got to be on a traffic stop, bottom end of Alton Road, just underneath the uh, Mike 4 M4. Roger. Okay, let's take a look at what we know here. So, the vehicle has got expired roads tax, belongs to a Lee Chow. Uh, it's been expired for over a year. He's also got a Section 5 handgun license, so that's interesting. Been stopped two times before, at least one of them, he's been given a ticket for driving without due care, so, you know, there is that. Um, alrighty, let's, um, let's just go say hi. Body cam on. Um, right, let's go, Reggie. Let's uh, let, let's say hello. Oh, Reggie, get in. X Vega two five got a vehicle making off. Stand by. Roger. 
Okay then. Right, one final fling in the old girl. Let's go. Expect too far. I've got a vehicle failing to stop. We are currently northbound on Calais Street. Vehicle is a uh, light blue baller. Registration the Hotel Julia 05 Papa Delta November. It was the one through to describe. Stand by. It's going to be a crash crash at the top of uh, Calais Street. Roger that. Get him boxed in there. Yeah, we got him. Hey, Greg, 25. It's going to be an out out. Get out of the car, dude. Out. Copy that. No, get. Get him out of the car, you know. Get out of that car. LSPD, freeze, shitbird. Get out of the car. Dude, get out. x 25 requesting more units. Copy. Needed in uh, little school. Dude, get out of the car. It's over. You can't go anywhere. Get out. We've got more units turning up now, so I'm just going to hold them here. I think the problem is we are fully stuck. Yeah, I think we're slightly stuck. This is the issue here. Yeah, everyone's um, kind of losing their mind here. Right. Dude, get out of this car. Right, how's many back? Oh, someone, th get him! He jumps out the same side as me. Guys, go, go, go! No, he's tracking another of the vehicle. Right, I need someone to take him now. Get him past now. Helicopter right. required in Little Soul. Oh, please do not lose him. Charlie Moore is airborne. Oh my god, they've lost him. You guys, for God's sake. <sighs> um Right, you. What is your name? He's given us a name. Let's run him through. This is uh John Tripoli, 9th of the 8th, 81. Oh, I can't believe they've let him go. And I would have jumped in the car, but I'm with this idiot. John Tripoli. Let's take a look. That was definitely the um, guy we were after there. Ah, oh, He's not wanted. Okay. Um, he's not technically done anything wrong, but why have they failed to stop? Right. Okay. This guy can go. He's not actually done anything wrong. I've got no power to search him. The other guy, I could have... Uh, if he'd been nicked, I could have then ar arrested him, searched him. Um, search the car as well, but for this, I don't, I don't have anything. This guy, I need to let go. So, I'm in a good mood. You can go. Yeah, he can go. Damn. Oh God damn it! And not a single other one of you could have got back in your car and gone after that guy, huh? I'm angry. I'm angry. We've lost him. Empaths couldn't catch up with him again in time. Oh, I'm, I'm fuming. I am fuming. That's so annoying. But, you know, it is what it is. We have a robbery in the yeah, I'm, I'm not interested in the stolen smartphone right now. <sighs> okay. x 25 requesting recovery. Roger that. We'll give it a quick search because it is being recovered. Yeah, there's nothing too much, really, other than some human teeth, which is a little bit weird. There's nothing, um... There's nothing there that makes me think we definitely needed to keep hold of that other guy. Um, he's probably just failed to stop for the fact that he knows he's not got a license anymore. So, it's, um, you know, not the uh, the biggest deal in the world. But still, just the fact that he's made off from me. And not a single other one of those specialist units could have got back in their car and gotten after him in time. Has uh, left me rather infuriated. Here they are. Wonderful. Right. Excellent. I'm upset. I'm upset. I want to find this guy. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Uh, can, can any of you guys let me through, please? That'd be great. So, he went off... Oh, let me just... Oh. He went this way. Um, but I don't quite know, to be honest with you, how exactly I'm going to be able to find him. I don't think we have a reg. 
for the vehicle that he stole. Um, so I don't really know. I guess we're just going to look at black ballers. I guess what we can do... Hang on. XOX25, can we get um, City CCTV to run their cameras and also get the Intel department to run the NPR cameras for any black baller that's come down uh, St Andrews Road recently? Uh, hopefully we can find him that way. Copy that. That could be him, you, you, you know. That looked very much like him. Let me turn around! Exodus 25, stand by. I might have him here. Roger that. Is he going or what? Is he pulling over? Is this is this the right guy? New incident new in 25, I've got a vehicle stopped on Ginger Street. Stand by. Oh, okay. Xbox 25, yeah, this vehicle is now making off. Uh, we are uh, Ginger Street. Um, the registration I do not have just oh yeah, it's a black ball. I believe it is the male that we have before. He's going to be turning back up towards St Andrews Road. Stand by. Right he's in fact into a car park. Stand by, and he's going to be coming back out on the other side onto Vestry Road, where it has been a left, 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 um, coming past the. Uh, public car parking on the near side. Speeds are currently 70 in A30. Traffic conditions are low. Pedestrian levels are low. Visibility is clear. Both conditions are dry. It is suitable for heavy braking. It is currently medium risk. He's going through red lights, however. Temporarily up to high risk. High risk hit. Not slowing down. He is about to come past the Vestry Road Police Station. He's losing it on the bridge. Let's say, it is now back down to medium risk. I'm an IPP train driver, suitable marked vehicle with license signs activated. Can we get IPP authority and uh, further TPAG units towards, please? Uh, I believe this is going to be a leech out, uh, and he has got an expired license. Previously failed to stop at the scene of an RTC and failed to stop for police. Is that received? Oh. Stand by, it's out, out, out on the corner of Vestry Road and Homestead Road. It's decamp, decamp, running northbound. Stand by. Dude, stop. Yeah, he's... He's turned left, left. Could you get more units, please, for the foot pursuit? Copy that. He's running back in towards the city at this time. Unit just approaching, is it coming up to you? Oh wow, did he? Come here dude. Oh nice taser, Reggie. I was going in for the... Get him, get him, get him, get him before he falls down the hill. Hands on your back now. Hands on your back. We've got him. Hot oh, damn. He went off off the edge there. Alrighty, step back up here. This moment in time, you are under arrest uh, for failing to stop for police, dangerous driving, uh, and failing to stop at the scene of an accident. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. If you do not mention when questioned, something which you later rely on in court, and anything you do say may be given in evidence. Uh, I don't want to stand him there, so let's bring him over here. Hi, guys. appreciate all of you for coming. I do. Um... Oh, we've got dog unit there as well. Nice, nice, nice. Right, first things first then, uh, Mr. Child. Do you understand the fact that you're under arrest and the caution I read to you? What am I allowed to do whilst being under arrest? Not a lot, if I'm perfectly honest with you. You've got certain rights. Um, those will be gone over whilst you're in custody. And the necessity for your arrest, by the way, is to allow for prompt and effective investigation to prevent your disappearance and to prevent any injury, okay? The worst night of your life? I mean, my guy, it's now like 9 o'clock in the morning, so I don't know about night, but sure. Um, right, would you chaps just mind waiting here for a minute? In fact, you can let the dog unit move their car up slightly and I'm going to go get our car over here as well. One second. 
Alrighty. Okay. Well, nicely done. She managed to keep up with that one. Nice. There we go. That's probably going to be her final pursuit. And she's done uh, just fine. Came to a little bit of a premature end. Not sure why he decided to decamp here. It uh, wasn't exactly the best place for a decamp. Let's just go quickly take a little look at this car here. Alrighty, let's see. He's left it with not too much damage on, so that's something. Uh, let's see. Sierra X-Ray 54 Mike Tango Alpha. X-Ray 25 requesting a vehicle check. Let's see. Uh, obviously, we know it doesn't belong to him. Um, however, uh, oh, steady. Oh, my God. Sam, belongs to a Yana Mary, Lung. Tom, Sorry. Adam, yeah, Lana Young, who also has an expired registration. Caution. Hilariously. Um, okay, I'll keep right. That's fine. At least we know how who to uh, contact in relation to their stolen vehicle. It's not been reported stolen as of yet. Let's just take a look at what's in it. Uh, I won't mind too much about what's in the boots. He's not really had time to put anything in there. A passenger side, a bag full of individually wrapped white powder. Okay, interesting, interesting. All right, well, in which case he can get... Um, Arrested for um, possession with intent to supply as well. Uh, let's see. Let's get a recovery service here. We've seen him get out of it, so we don't need a forensic lift on the vehicle. We know it's him that's got out of it. We've not lost sight of him at any point. So, right, we'll get that recovered. There we go. Happy days. Bye-bye now. Thank you. Appreciate you. All righty. Now let's get back down here to the uh, scene of uh, our eventual stop on him. He made it a fair old distance, actually, didn't he? Right, let's just get pulled in here, minding that fire hydrant. We'll get pulled in past that. Happy days. Right, let's get back over here. Um, Reggie, what happened to your hat? You've lost your hat, man. Don't know where you've dropped that, but all right. Anyway, okay, dokey. Right, let's see here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, this is definitely the guy that ran from us. Right, let's get some gloves on here. Mr. Chow, you're going to be uh, searched under Section 32 of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act. Is there anything on you that we should know about? Uh, do you have any weapons on you? I have read your rights. I cautioned you if that is what you are referring to. What I'm asking for, is there anything illegal on you that I'm going to find on you that I should know about beforehand? Might have some needles on, on you, but I don't remember. Okay, fine. Right, in which case, just hold still for me. Let's go and search. Whilst I'm doing this, you are also further under arrest for possession with intent to supply Class A. The uh, vehicle you've decamped from has got a large amount of um, uh, wrapped uh, white powder in it. So we've also got a flashbang and a map highlighting police station. So, okay, that's also mega sus. Flashbang. Uh, I'm going to put that down to um, improvised, no, not improvised, uh, unauthorized possession of an explosive device. You're further under arrest for that as well. Um, the ID card is going to show uh, Connor Jackson here. We'll ignore that. It's just because, uh, you know, um, LSP Defile has been a little bit funny. So that's the name that will pop up. But this is, of course, Lee Chow, uh, the guy with the expired driver's license that we found uh, before. Mr. Chow, because you've been involved in a road traffic collision, I'm going to be making a requirement for you to comply with a couple of roadside tests here. The first one is going to be a breathalyzer test. Are you happy to partake? Do not recognize your authority to administer such a test? Well, I do have a power to do that under the Road Traffic Act. Uh, and if you uh, fail or refuse to provide uh, either one of these tests, I'm just going to be a further arrest of you for it. And it may lead to a separate prosecution. So you're going to do both these tests for me? In that case, let's do it. I'm happy you've said that. Right, my colleague here is going to do your breathalyzer. So turn and face him. Make a nice tight seal around the tube with your mouth and just blow in one long continuous breath. Keep going, keep going, and stop. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Let's see. He's got 23, so he has had a drink today. So that is something. Mr. Dog Handler, do you mind if I just get in front of you for a second? I'm going to do a drug wipe here. So, right. So while you tongue around on the inside of your cheeks, build up a little bit of saliva. And here we go. Let's do this. And it's negative for everything. Okay. So there we are. All right. Well, in which case, we're going to need a van down here. We'll get them rolling. Uh, we'll get them on that coming, otherwise they're going to crash into all kinds uh, of stuff here. So, uh, you guys can probably go. Uh, I appreciate you all for coming, but uh, in fact, we'll wait for the band to get here, otherwise it's going to dismiss them as well. We will do an arrest record. It is going to show up under a different name here, but it is the one we're after. So, let's see here. So, theft-wise... It is going to be aggravated vehicle taking. That's sorry. That's another thing I need to arrest him for. Aggravated vehicle taking, um, because he's uh, obviously stolen that vehicle. It's a car jacking. If it was uh, America, is how it would be termed. And then it's been used in crime, and uh, damage has been caused to it. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, criminal damage. No assaults. Not as far as I know. In fact, there will be a common assault on the driver for pulling them out of the car. 
So there is that. In fact, you could argue that is a robbery. But anyway, didn't find any weapons. Drug possession. It's going to be Pewitt's Class 8. Traffic. It's then going to be... Uh, it's not disqualified, but he is driving otherwise in accordance with a license. We will be reported for that. Let's see. Dangerous driving. Failing to stop for police. Failing to stop a report of a road accident. And uh, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty healthy list he's just got himself there. Mr. Chow, come here. We're going to get you into this van. So this van will have been searched prior to you getting in it. So anything found in it once you get out will be deemed to be yours. There we are. Get on in. Wonderful stuff. Fabulous. Sorry, madam. Sorry. If you wouldn't mind uh, taking him, that is fantastic. All of you can go. Thank you very much. Appreciate you coming out. It's a good job he stopped before you got here, eh, bud? Otherwise, you would have had the land shark on him as well. So let's step out of his way so we can move on out of here. Alrighty, there we all go. They're going off. They're going that way. He's going that way. Happy days. Well, there we go. What a send off for the uh, the old battle wagon here. We're going to get uh, our body cams off before we say anything else, actually. And then we're going to get ourselves down to the station. And that should just about do us. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you have enjoyed. What a send-off for our beloved uh, 65 plate focuses. Never got a name, actually. Maybe we should have given them uh, a name. But anyway, they've been a workhorse for a long, long time. But of course, they are going to be replaced by something newer. So expect to see that revealed in, in the uh, coming days, coming weeks, maybe. Um, but yeah, we'll get some new vehicles out on the road. So in terms of what we've done today, of course, we started off going to that arson, that car fire. At least I suspect it to be an arson. Anyway, it all seemed very, very sus with that phone call in the beginning. Obviously, we'll work out what's gone on there maybe we'll find out in the end credits exactly what the backstory to that one was and then of course we witnessed a little rtc happen neither driver stopped so we were just going to um pull over the um driver just to give them words of advice maybe and just see what was going on turns out one of them didn't have a uh, license but didn't get to have much of a conversation with him because mr chow decided he was going to hightail it on out of there nice and quickly crashed and sadly lost him uh, i'm going to still put that down to the incompetency of the uh, various jou uh, departments that turned up but anyway managed to find him again and he fails to stop for us once again but once again he's decided to stop but he bailed out and uh, that was his downfall quite literally he fell off the bit of a cliff at the end if you have enjoyed this video then make sure to leave a like let me know down in the comments below what you think say farewell to the old focus of course as well give me some suggestions for upcoming videos all that good stuff if you're new around here then make sure to subscribe to the channel for more british lspdfr content coming every single week i'd love to see you back again for another video but until then i've been dodo mcgee and i'll see you back on patrol mm -hmm.